it's really cold. Let's put some shorts on and go and play some football. That'll make us feel great. In the 1950s, Sunday League football was part of national service. You could choose the army, the navy, the RAF or the soccer. National pride was at stake. The footballers come from all walks of life. Factory workers, accountants, salesmen, lorry drivers, even film technicians. Hackney marshes on a Sunday morning are a testimony to that British love of sport which has become a byword throughout the world. By the early 80s, national pride had been very much kicked into touch. Sundays is, is my football day. Basically, I'm the manager of the football team. There's only one man in charge, and that's myself. Rather than finish up in a pub, this lot actually start there. Hey, who's shot? Who's shot? Goalkeeper! Goal 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 I'm here! Goal to the wall! <laughs> Yeah, come, yeah. Right, goals, Mark. Yeah, go straight up, right? Listen, straight. Warren, netting, netting, netting. How do you attach netting to two jumpers? Paul, Paul, hey, Paul. Spanking new ones for a month. No, not you, sir. Share it home. Paul, these it back at car. You can always tell when someone has been out on, you know, on keg night before. They're half asleep. Uh, they just don't seem to be bothered. They've got a thumping headache. In fact, I've had cases where a few players have uh, been sick on pitch. Yeah, that's when the manager lifts his jumper up. Hey, come on, let's stop it, boys. Let's charge ball straight away, lads. I just, I don't know. I feel, I feel as though I'm a better organizer than an actual player. I don't want to be Mussolini or anyone like that. Just a, you know, just a leader. That's all. Winning's everything to me, anyway. But Sunday mornings is like Saturday afternoons to a professional player. It's going out there to win. Yeah, 